Hello, San. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to you. Let me tell you what, today is the day. I am super, super excited. Mm. We have something to show everyone here. Mm. This is something that's been in the works for a long time. Just so you all know, back in 2015 when Novi was still open, we were serving the best salmon in the world. Mm. And that was from Backerfrost, which is located in the Faroe Islands. Yes. Faroe Islands is between Iceland and Norway, mm -hmm. and they have the best salmon anywhere. Mm. We're going to show it to you now, and thankfully, uh, we kind of found each other, you know? Mm. <laughs> they want you to be basically the brand ambassador, which we are super happy about. On the edge of nowhere, far away from everything else, farther than your wildest imagination, lie the Faroe Islands. A land lost in time, balancing on the edge of history, home to the Atlantic salmon. A hardy, robust breed, born from the waters of the islands. These small strips of land, holding their own against the weight of an entire ocean, against a strong, cold tide, filtering through the fjords, keeping them virgin and pristine. The last video that we did, we showed everyone all those different types of salmon from, from True World, from Walmart, from, from Whole Foods. You know, it's so hard to make sure that the salmon is going to be parasite free. Mm. Because to do that, you need a letter like this. You need a letter like this from Back of Frost that they provide for you that not only is certified that their feed is actually parasite free, that they actually had another outside agency come and verify that. But besides parasites, this product is also GMO free and also antibiotic free. So all that you can see here listed down below. But don't take our word for it. Everyone knows that Backerfrost salmon is really the world's best. You can go to backerfrostshop.com and it ships out of their facility, I believe in New Jersey. And not only will you actually get the best tasting salmon, really the most responsibly farmed. You know, there's a lot of comments and we welcome all the comments. and. Of course, everyone's like, oh, I'll never touch farm-raised salmon in my life. Some of the comments, you know, people saying, I'll never feed farm-raised salmon to my dog. Well, let me tell you what, mm. that would be one lucky dog. This is really the world's best salmon. And again, we used to serve this five years ago when the restaurant was still open. Mm. And you can check that out from 2015, Hero. Yes. I did a little video back mm -hmm. in the kitchen when we actually received this. Mm. So... Here we go. This box is from their facility in New Jersey. I can't wait. I can't wait to open this up. All right, Hero-san, let's okay. do it. And down below, I'm going to list some of the other certifications from Backerfrost. They have a lot of certifications. The biggest one is ASC. It's probably the, the most important one. ASC is basically the Aquaculture Stewardship Council. And basically, it's a sustainable source of seafood. So this fish coming directly that was harvested on the weekend, um, wherever you get it from, you don't have to freeze it for any parasites, completely parasite free. So the next time you guys have an opportunity to buy farm raised salmon from your local market, the best way is ask them, do they have a letter from the source from the farm that says it was parasite free? They ship to the United States, they ship to Canada, all these different countries. They ship internationally, even to Asia. So if you guys can find this product, Becca Frost Salmon, you guys are in for a treat. And of course, I love that little tag. I always say that. I love a tag on a fish. Yeah. I, I, I used to collect them this time. You used to collect them? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, some, some, some of the plastic, some yeah. of the kind of metal, you know. Okay. Uh, I'll no, no. check this out. <laughs> Correcting. This is like when you go to, I said this before, you, when you go to a Gucci store, <laughs> you want that tag, right? Or an LV yeah. store, you want to make sure it's real. Yeah. 
I don't want to address the issue. A lot of people in the comments, they say, why do you need to take out the scales if you're not going to use the skin? Well, when you start filleting the fish and you cut during the cut down the center of it, the scales get everywhere. It just becomes very, very messy. So this is the, the way to do it. And this is the way they taught you in Japan, right, Hiro? Yeah, we do. That's how you do it. Hiro was saying earlier that because the fish is so fresh, the scales come out very easily, right, Hiro? Yes. And Sometimes sitting too long, it's hard to take it off the scale. So this is very easily done. And one thing I want to point out, mm. Back and Frost was established in 1968. 1968? That's my birthday, 1968. Maybe January 29th, that was the date they oh, established. Exactly. Huh? That's my, exactly <laughs> my, my day I was born. That was the day so you were born. So this is a destiny to destiny. Uh, meet into the, the, this summer. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? This company in the summer. Okay, salmon's been descaled, cleaned up, dried up. What Hero says is in order to make it look good, it's got to be clean and dry, right Hero? Yes, especially when you do the filming, if you're scared on, scared on spreading everywhere, yeah, you know? Exactly. So it doesn't, looks not so nice, right? And those of you who work in a sushi bar, sushi restaurant, you don't want scales anywhere on your fish or on the cutting board. So that's why process takes a little bit longer, but this is what you get. Clean out fish. Here's on. What is the next step? Next step, I'm gonna take off the heads off and then make it fit. Okay. Mm. Very good. Take back my tag. My tag. I'm gonna put this on my hat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> first, I'm gonna take off the heads. But this is the one two way. So first, you can take off the these parts first. Then after, you can cut off the the kama the kara, or you just go straight. It depends. Like I say, in the, in the restaurant, if you sell the kama itself, maybe put a little more meat on it. If it doesn't have it, put the more meat on the, on, on the filet side. So today I'm going to do cut off the straight. Okay. Go like that. To make sure this side. Like that. Last one. Just a little, little bit, and second one all the way until the center bone. You can see here, center bone here. Go this way. Okay. Then next one, I'm gonna back to this way. And now I'm going to cut this like the back side. This first one, just uh, just for the line. Second one, get a little bit more deep. This is the center bone, you can see. Mm, salmon color is very, yeah, it's very nice. beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful color. Wow. Mm -hmm. This process, you know, sometimes if you do the slow, a little bit difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I usually in the kitchen, I do more faster, you know? Yeah. Okay, like that. So now I'm gonna cut off tail side. Then I grab the tail. Then this one cut. Like that. One side is finished. Okay. Like that. This is now more dangerous, you think? No. No. Th that's why you need to hold it in. Okay. Yeah. Then Off. Now look at all that meat. We yeah, can you, you can later. scrape with a spoon. Yeah. Right. We'll show later how to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. Cut off this one. This one I don't need. And next one, I'm gonna take off the uh, the belly, the bone. Like 
ne? Mhm. Just to use the top of the knife. Okay. Okay, and then after, uh, this is dependable restaurant what to do. Uh, so, uh, some chef actually cut off this one at the berry. Right. Right? And then you can do the berry salmon, salmon toro. It's salmon, salmon toro, toro is my favorite part of the fish. Yeah. Well, just leave like this and just cut this and push. Okay. So it's a depend, you know. Yeah, let's do one in one. How about that? So, yeah, I, I'm going to take off the berry side. Okay. All the way in straight, like that. Okay, I'm going to keep this one. And then just I'm going to clean up uh, this side, this one. There's meat on that as well here that you Not can much, use? not much. This is more like likely like a you know, at the center of the bone. Maybe you can put take a little little, little meat on. Okay. Almost uh, bone. Another bone is in here. They have a two bones here. This is a pretty tough. I'm gonna maybe take off later. Okay. After that. It's quick. People love when you do that. A lot of comments. Picking up the bone? Yeah. I just cut in this much. Okay, break it down. guys imagine if you had the scallops still on this fish just handling like this once you cut in portions let me tell you would be a lot of scales everywhere okay like this okay up. I should buy 18 inches more big one but it's okay so last time here I did this step with that um, steelhead trout. Mm. I ate the fish, defrosted it four weeks later, Hero, and it was just as good. Was it still okay? Oh my goodness. And it was my regular fridge. It wasn't any super freezer, yeah. Really? Oh yeah. So the key is what Hero's doing is wrapping it twice, <coughs> tight wrap it, and just put it in the freezer. Yeah. Probably go longer too. It didn't seem to freezer burn. Yeah. I wish I have a the vacuum pack on. Yeah, that'd you know, be great. More, more nice, huh? Okay, here we go. One whole salmon hero. Mm -hmm. And you got actually 12 pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Here's eight. And then one nice one here. And another one here. And this is the, two t and the tail side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. Yes. And also, I have a belly. Okay. This is a belly. Right, it's so right, the belly. And you mm -hmm. have the bones and then you have the head. Right. So first, I'm going to do uh, this part. Is this much? Yeah. We could. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, now is uh, hit the parts. Yes. I'm gonna show you how to break. Okay. The head. The first I'm gonna do take off this one. The how they call kara, right? Right, the color. Yeah. Is we we call it kama. But anyway, I'm gonna take off this one. <coughs> Look at all the meat in the head. Oh, yes, yes. They have a lot of meat. Yeah. So, 
salmon is very soft, you know. Yeah. And then you can just cut out the half. And then this one you can serve the salmon kama. It's kind of grill it, right? Yeah, it's grill. Or part of the oven right. after you season it. Mm -hmm. Now, I saw you cut right down the bone. Is the bone really not that? Not that, not that. Uh, I'm going to show you the head. Salmon bone is very soft, so you can use this type of a knife. But when you do uh, like a snapper, I said they have a very strong bone. Mm. So the deva knife use the more like a bottom uh, this side. Okay. Don't use the top side for right. to cut the bone because it's going to be cracked. But some is okay. So I'm going to keep this one uh, this way. And of course, if you want to make a soup, you can cut it a little bit more smaller. Yeah. Right. It's a lot so of meat here. Look at this, this one. I'm going to cut. Keep this. People one. don't cut this part and make sushi from it, hero. Can they get from this one? Meat? Yeah. Um, Not so much, right? Maybe. But you could if if you don't serve collar in your restaurant or if you don't want to yeah, serve collar. Yeah, you just need to take off the meat. Maybe it's more scared off or something. Okay. Right. How do you call it? Scrape? Scrape? Yeah, scrape. scrape. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, go like that. Okay, then here. Center. Still edible, so much edible yeah. in there. Then you can cut to three pieces or two pieces. You can see this one after you cook. Yeah, this one is getting so very soft. Really soft, yeah. So good. You people, you like it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it at all. So I'm gonna cut in three pieces or two pieces. You know, okay. okay. Very soft. So, what's the use of this? How would you cook this? I guess in a soup. I saying? do make a soup. Can you like kind of saute it? Put some seasoning. Saute, in it? yeah, you can do saute too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I'm gonna make anyway soup, so I'm gonna this one go for the soup, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna take off the that's the this thing. I don't need it. And maybe half. And three pieces or two pieces, okay? That's kind of Uh, for me, just give me some soy sauce here, and I can just eat it like that. What? <laughs> this piece right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's kind of, kind of like chicken wings. <laughs> All right, there you have it. How to break down a whole salmon and how to use every single part. Hero, looking forward to what you're going to make with this leftover from the head and the mm -hmm. collar. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, share it. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Check out the link, backafrostshop.com. You guys can make some delicious salmon dishes as well. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Bugger Frost is known for superior salmon. Located in the Faroe Islands, their commitment to excellence and attention to detail makes some of the finest salmon in the world. By controlling all aspects of production from feed to final products, Bugger Frost is one of the world's most vertically integrated salmon farming companies. This ensures unrivaled traceability and consistently high quality. It all starts in the Faroe Islands, in one of the most pristine oceans on the planet. Here, Bacafrost feeds their salmon, a fish feed like no other. Bacafrost's unique fish meal and oil is made from locally caught fish, from sustainable indigenous stocks living in Faroese waters. This environmentally conscious fishing and transport leaves a small CO2 footprint. The fresh fish is split into fish meal and fish oil. The oil, rich in omega-3 fatty acids, is made available for immediate use. This unrivaled traceability from the initial catch to a final feed containing only non-GMO ingredients makes for an exceptionally fresh and nutritious feed. Baka Frost is proud of not only the high level of marine ingredients they put in their feed, but also their three-hour turnaround time, from raw fish to salmon feeding. Allowing quality to come before costs, Baka Frost hatcheries imitate nature by creating optimal conditions 
from egg to smolt. Their focus on animal welfare creates improved growth potential and reduced mortality. Bacca frost's extensive capacity spread throughout several locations is effective, minimizes risk, ensures stable deliveries, and leaves a small CO2 footprint. Bacca frost farm their salmon in the clean, cold, isolated fjords of the Faroe Islands. This isolation minimizes contamination between sites and has a low environmental impact. No antibiotics are used and strict legislation requires dedicated equipment for each farming site, restricts movement between sites, limits density and requires one generation farming. Bucca Frost utilizes some of the most modern vessels in the industry staffed by people with centuries of seafaring know-how, provide fast and gentle transportation, with pressure offloading and on-board cooling. Extensive capacity ensures regular deliveries and an extremely fresh product. The process starts with live fish entering facilities designed with speed and hygiene in mind. The total in-house process is gentle, that assures quality and an environmentally friendly approach. Bucca Frost's large capacity also creates a steady consistent supply and allows the company to react to unexpected market demands. Bucca Frost's innovative and state-of-the-art value-adding processing facilities are designed for a fast and flexible production with focus on high-quality products and customer needs. Bacca Frost's flexible production model also allows for many packaging options, a welcome convenience for any customer. Bacca Frost packages their wide range of products in optimal dimensions for different segments and markets. Fresh whole salmon are packed and delivered using in-house produced boxes made of EPS material that is lightweight, strong, withstands humidity and is hygienic. Bacca Frost's highly visible, well-insulated boxes make for consistent product recognition of a consistently fresh product. Bacca Frost's strategy to build close collaborations with customers in different worldwide markets compels them to offer a large customer-driven product portfolio that can be delivered by sea, land and air by a fast and efficient shipping infrastructure. Bacca Frost's main sales office is located in the Faroe Islands, in the same place as the rest of the value chain, and with certifications across the board, including Global Gap, HACCP, BRC, IFS, ASC, FDA, and an integrated CSR policy, as well as being a part of the Global Salmon Initiative. Bacca Frost is a one-stop shop.